I've had this phone for over half a year now, the Motorola Razr 5G flip phone. And I thought I'd throw in a customer's point of view long-term review. Since the Samsung phones, they have a bad rep for like the screen crackling in the center. I have uh, friends, friends that had that happen to them. But I haven't seen a single report of, and, and I searched through the internet, of this phone having this issue with the screen. And I've seen the machines open it and closing it uh, many times. So, yeah, I, I just thought I'd run down what I find great and what I don't find great about this phone. So, to make it quick, uh, I love everything. This is the perfect phone, except for the battery. The battery is just too small, so that's that's the only downside. If they could, um, I would even take a, a small hit in performance for a longer battery life because that battery is just tiny. So it only lasts for if I use it regularly, like I do, quite you know medium uh, heavily, not 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 quite, but. Let's say I watch um, two hours of YouTube and text for an hour, then that phone is basically uh, down to 20% or something. I do charge it only up to 80% though to kind of save it a little bit, so that also impacts my experience. So if it fully charged when I had it brand new, it lasted me for an entire day. No problem. And it's still feels the same but if I really use it it, it's, it runs out of battery in half a day so that really sucks the rest is amazing now um, the screen is still like new basically I managed to scratch it in a few places up here slightly but um, my previous phone was the Samsung S10 plus and I've scratched that even worse in a shorter period of time so the, the fact that you can fold it close fold it shut really protects the screen so the the small screen I'm not going to show you anything in the phone just um, short quick video so the the small screen works with every app I tried sometimes it shows a warning you just say, say accept and then it works it works with every app I had so far um, it doesn't work with third-party keyboards on WhatsApp, for example. That sucks. But the regular um, keyboard works. The camera is good. It's nothing to, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not amazing, but it's good. And yeah. So yeah, the screen, the crease, it's waterproof. It's the only waterproof one. The crease is still clean, like there's no dust accumulating. And I, I work in a hardening plant, so there's a lot of dust in metal shavings and grindings flying around everywhere, which usually manages to scratch up all my phones. But this one, I did get one scratch in the glass back side here, but it's also not that bad. Um, yeah, the screen is just beautiful. And this little thingy did not get worse at all. So in the Samsung phones, they appear to get worse over time. This one looks just as if it was new. There is, you know, the it's not completely straight, but as soon as the screen's on, you couldn't tell that that's the case. So yeah, I would give it a nine out of 10. And it's definitely the future for phones in terms of, in terms of um, how practical it is. It's like, it's on the next level. I can watch YouTube videos over here while eating, you know, just placing it somewhere. Or I can, um, you know, do all kinds of stuff just here. It's just so practical. It fits in your pocket. When cycling, it's convenient. So, yeah. Best phone ever. Just bigger battery is a must for the future. But I can't see not wanting a flip phone ever again, so this will be my go-to for the future.